Hello everyone, my name is Yifan Shen. Today I'm quite happy to present my recent work on constructing geometric graphs from features to add classification tasks. Let me start with the background. We know that classifying samples into a given set of classes is one of the fundamental tasks of data analytics. In supervised machine learning, traditional methods train a classifier using a data set in which both features and class labels are observed for each sample. Once the classifier has been learned from the training dataset, its hyperparameters are optimized over validation sets. Then the model can be used to predict the class of unseen samples based on their features. Traditional machine learning methods focus on learning solely based on sample features. However, this paradigm is recently evolving to include additional sources of information. In some instances, datasets contain additional information in the form of observed relational links between samples. Graphs are a natural way to represent such relational links. For example, in a dataset of scientific articles, each article will be described by features that encode its text but we might also have information on citations between articles. In the last two decades, a large number of machine learning methods have been proposed to leverage the, inf the information in such graph structure. Graph neural networks or geometric deep learning is a nascent class of methods which refers to a broad set of techniques attempting to extend deep neural models to graph structure data. In particular, the work with graph convolutional networks for short GCN, a prime example of geometric deep learning, has suggested that using a graph of samples in conjunction with sample features can improve classification performance when compared with traditional machine learning methods that use only features. In many instances, extra relational information in the form of a graph is not easily available. Here, we ask that, even in the typical case where the dataset consists of sample features only, is it still possible to use the feature vectors to obtain a geometric graph that encapsulates the closeness or similarity between samples, and use this feature-derived graph within a GCN to add classification? Intuitively, you can think that the geometric graph acts as a conduit ensuring that class labels are predominantly shared between similar samples during learning. We consider several popular geometric graph constructions that fall broadly in two groups. On the one hand, three methods based on local neighborhoods. First, k-nearest neighbor, kn. Second, mutual kn, mkn. And the third, the recently proposed continuous kn, ckn. On the other hand, a method that balances local and global distances measured on a minimum spanning tree, called a relaxed minimum spanning tree, MST. I'm not going into the details of the construction methods here, but basically they are based on different heuristics of stretch holding to decide if two samples are connected. And the common thing is that each method is characterized by a density parameter, where you can tune it to obtain graphs from very sparse to very dense. To examine the improvements in classification performance induced by feature-derived graphs, we perform extensive computations on seven datasets from a variety of disciplines using those four well-known geometric graph construction methods to extract graphs which are then used within GCN classification. For each dataset and each graph construction, we sweep the edge density parameter generating geometric graphs from very sparse to very dense, and we search for the edge density that maximizes the average GCN classification accuracy on the validation set. Note that the two limiting cases are well characterized the no graph limit corresponds to the multi-layer perceptron, for short MRP, and the complete graph limit is equivalent to 
the main field and leads to a random class assignment. The figure shows the classification performance of a GCN with a CKN graph of increasing density applied to a data set of computer science papers, A minor, which we use as our running example throughout. We find that there is a sweet spot in the density, neither over sparse nor over dense, while the GCN classification performance is optimized. Once the edge density parameter is optimized on the validation set, we apply the GCN classifier to the test set. We have compiled the performance of four graphless feature-based classifiers, MLP, KN classification, support vector machine, and random forest, to GCN classifiers with optimized feature-derived geometric graphs. Our numerical experiments indicate that the GCN with feature-derived graphs generally achieve better classification performance than graphless classifiers. In particular, the recent proposed CKN graph construction performs best across our seven datasets. To get a further insight into the role of the constructed graphs in classification, here we explore their properties from two complementary perspectives. On the one hand, previous study has pointed out a certain degree of subspace alignment among features X, graph A hat, and the ground truth Y is needed for GCN to achieve good performance. Here, inspired by this, we evaluate the alignment between the ground truth and the ground convolved features by measuring the cosine of the minimum principal angle between their subspaces composed of the top principal components. And the number of dimensions of those two subspaces are determined by maximizing the Pearson correlation between the alignment and the classification accuracy on the validation set. This figure shows the alignments for CKAN graphs of increasing density on A minor. We find that reduction in classification accuracy induced by overdense graphs is linked to a strong disruption of the subspace alignment. In the limits of the computer graph, the alignment approaches the value of zero, which means that the minimum principal angle is one half of pi, indicating that the two subspaces are orthogonal. And for sparse graphs, on the other hand, induce a slight increase of the subspace alignment at the same time as improving the classification accuracy. The alignment and uh, classification accuracy show good correlation for the A minor, and the Pearson correlation between them is, is 0 0.970. And the same process has been carried out for all seven datasets, and the average correlation coefficient is 0 0.852. Another way of assessing the effect of the constructed graphs on classification is to study the inherent separability of the probabilistic GCN assignment matrix of the output activation Z by the GCN propagation rule. The effect of the graph on Z reflects the quality of the classifier. A good graph should enhance the separation of samples from different classes while clustering together samples from the same class. Here, we quantify the separability of the GCN by mapping the two-dimensional DSNE embedding of Z, on which we compute the ratio between the average interclass and the intraclass distances. Similar to alignment, here we observe a high correlation between RCS and the classification accuracy on the validation set. The Pearson correlation coefficient for A minor is 0 0.9. 953 and the overall average is 0 0.938 across datasets. Finally, we study if we can specify optimize the geometric graphs while further improving classification performance because sparse graphs are generally favored over dense graphs, in particular for large datasets, as they are more efficient for both numeric computation and the data storage.
motivated by the key importance of spectral properties in graph partition and community detection. Starting from optimized CKN graph, the big red dot in the figure, we apply the well-known Spearman specification algorithm to our optimized CKN graphs and select the specification that maximizes the classification accuracy on the validation set, the big blue dot in the figure. So the Spearman specification method reduces the number of links of a graph while preserving the spectral content of the graph Laplacian. With the specified graph applied on the test set, we find that for several of our data sets, the specified graph performs better while being sparser. Let me do a quick summary here. First, here we show that even if additional relational information is available in a data set, one can improve classification by constructing geometric graphs from the features themselves and using them within a graph convolution network. And the improvement in classification accuracy is maximized by graphs that capture sample similarity with relatively low edge density. Second, we show such feature-derived graphs increase alignment of the data to the ground truth while improving class separation. Third, we demonstrated that the graphs can be made more efficient using special specification, which reduces the number of links in the graph while still improving classification performance. So thank you very much for listening. If you want to know more about this project, I also put a link to our archive paper and the GitHub link to the code and the datasets. Thank you.